guys and welcome back to another player review on the channel. Today we have got the first foot birthday cards I'm going to review and it is Jack Grealish. The reason I'm going to review him is because I packed him in the free pack that EA gave us for foot birthday. Um, yeah, I was quite shocked to be honest. Didn't expect anything. Not played FIFA in a couple of uh, days to be fair in about 10 days because my uncle has been over from Australia so I've been spending as much time as I can with him because I've not seen him in four years but anyway five star weak foot upgrade four star skill moves he's right footed high medium work rate and he's 5'11 you guys if you are a Aston Villa fan some of you may want to buy him some of you may not want to buy him but he's going for about 230k at the moment but he looks like a pretty insane card obviously he does play for Manchester City but looking at his stats are pretty pretty phenomenal um, look at that pace, 91 and 89, brilliant. His shooting stats are absolutely stacked, apart from his penalties and volleys, everything else brilliant. 91 long shots, 87 shot power, 87 finishing, 92 attack positioning. His passing, fantastic. Um, lowest being is free kicks uh, at 80. Um, his curve at 84, he doesn't have finesse shot traits, so that might be a little bit of a con on the card. We'll soon find out. Um, the only thing concerning in dribbling is his 83 reactions. It's not even that concerning, lads. He's got 90 agility, 89 balance, 94 ball control, 94 dribbling, and 93 composure. That is insane. Um, he's not going to win you any headers with 50 jumping and 38 hen accuracy, is he? Oh, God, that is shocking, lads. 90 stamina, though, really good. Strength of 73 and 71 aggression. Pretty decent for a winger. Um, I think I'm going to use him as a central cam in a 4 Two, three, one formation in behind Big Cockerigi up front. So fingers crossed that's going to be good. I've actually not used him yet, and he's got an upgrade, and he looks phenomenal because the Liverpool one. Come on, you red men! Come on. Uh, well, that car looks like a monster now, doesn't he? An absolute monster. So let's get on into the gameplay and let's see if this Jack Grealish card is worth two hundred thirty k. I think five star weak foot is going to be really good on this card. But no, without further ado, let's get on into the gameplay. So here we go, match number one and a very weird team at this stage of FIFA. But we'll take it. Hopefully we'll get some goals with Grealish. Lovely ball. Let's have a dig. Grealish, keeper comes out. Oh, we can't. Oh, my God. There's a force wheel around the goal, but great first attempt from Grealish. Oh, that would have been lovely if he could have got a goal. But the skills coming into play there, the dribbling, the pace, everything about him there we felt really good. What I have noticed is he does feel quite strong and he does tend to stay on his feet when he is being challenged, lads. Oh, lovely play. Come on, Grealish, use your pace. Lozano's going to get there. Is he? No, he's not. We do get the attempts off, but again, not really challenging the goalkeeper, was it? Oh, lovely. Lovely. Again, he is lacking in the finesse shot department, lads. Only 84 curve. Doesn't have the finesse shot trait. And it is definitely showing with his finesse shot. So, I would stay clear of him if I were you. And that one, that should have been going in the back of the net, lads. It really should. With his finishing stats, really should have been going back of the net. Oh, perfect pass. Perfect pass and a perfect shit from Neymar. Yes, he might not have got a goal in this game, but he does get an assist in the last minute with a perfectly placed ball. Absolutely fantastic. I would say his playmaking ability is absolutely spot on. On both feet, he has been really nice in the playmaking ability. Been a bit lackluster in his shooting, I've got to be honest, in this first game. But his playmaking has been absolutely brilliant. So maybe he is more suited to an out-wide player rather than a central player. Uh, Cam or striker. I know he's obviously a left winger, but he's got the stats, hasn't he, to play like a central cam. But in this game, he got us an assist. Apart from that, really can do much for us. I've got to be quite honest with you. Uh, so hopefully we can get some more involvement in the next game. But uh, he's all right. Yeah, 200k. Um, he's got the five star weak foot, which means he can pass on both feet and he can shoot on both feet. The one thing I do say, please do stick away from the finesse shots. He had a couple of them, and they weren't testing the keeper. And yes, I do know he doesn't have finesse shot trait or high curve, but he has a really nice finishing stat. So I thought it might have done a bit better, but he doesn't, lads. He doesn't. So I would recommend staying away from his finesse shots. But all in all, pretty decent. Um, he definitely, 
is suited to a central cam or left winger spot, um, in my opinion. So here we go, match number two, and every man and his dog seems to have done a Rigi, but I don't blame them. Do not blame them at all. Lovely play. Come on, can Grealish get in? Yes, he can. Oh, God, I thought we were going to get a first goal with him there. He should have done better. How unlucky are we today? How unlucky are we today? Nice ball. Nice ball. Big cockerigi. Jack Grealish! Oh, for God's sake. Honestly, what is wrong with me today? I cannot score a goal. Oh, my God. Honestly, what is going on in these past two games? Every shot I have with Grealish just gets saved, lads. <laughs> it really does. Nice ball. Come on, Grealish. The angle was tight, but we do finally get a goal, lads. With Jack Grealish, and that is the upgraded weak foot coming into play. Just what we like to see, and a great goal across the goalkeeper. Fantastic play, and he showed the pace there as well to get away from the defender. Lovely ball, lovely ball. Can Origi score? Yes, he bloody can. And again, great assist from Grealish. That is what he's going to provide. He's going to provide the odd goal here and there, but he's going to provide great, great playmaking ability. Honestly, his pass is fantastic on both feet with the five-star weak foot. And that is the biggest highlight for me. His creative play is brilliant. And that's why I recommend probably playing him as a central cam. I mean, out wide, he's okay. Um, but with the increased pace on right backs and left backs these days, he just hasn't got the pace to get right in behind. He's got the perfect pace for that central cam in behind the striker, and that's where I do recommend using him. Come on. There we go. There we go. Another beautiful goal from him. This time, outside the box, on a finesse. Didn't really go into that top bin, but it went in the back of the net nonetheless. So we'll take it, lads. We'll take it. Oh, he was showing his strength there, and that's what I mean. He does seem to stay on his feet quite a lot. He, f he does remind me of Figo, to be honest, in a lot of respects. Can we get a goal? No, we can't. Great save by the keeper. But as I was saying, he does feel like Figo in a lot of respects. Uh, oh, he wins the header. Unlucky there. I c I'm surprised he won the header, actually, because his heading is absolutely shocking. Uh, we'll try again, lads. As I was saying, he's very much like Figo in the way he performs in-game. Um, he'll come up with a goal every now and again, but his playmaking is fantastic. And I think, okay, Figo's got slightly different body type. He's a bit chunkier, isn't he? But Grealish plays in the same sort of style. Um, he's obviously not got the meta body type this year, but he does perform pretty well on the ball. Grealish is through. Can we get another finesse? Yes, we can. And that's the hat trick. What a goal that was. Brilliant run from him, to be fair. And then the finisher dreams as well. So he's got three goals and an assist in this game. And that is definitely showing why he's worth the coins. It was a struggle in the first one to get used to him. But now I'm off on fire. And he's been absolutely amazing in this one. Oh, what a rocket on his left foot. In this game, he has been absolutely insane. What a bloody goal that is. Absolute scorcher. <laughs> it's too easy with him, lads. Too easy. In this game, he has been unreal. Unstoppable. And he picks up the match ball. Five goals and an assist. That is insane, lads. Insane. Here we go into the final match of the review. And for one minute, for some reason, I thought he had two Ronaldos in his team. It's not. It's Bruno in form and Ronaldo. Oh, unlucky. Lovely play from Grealish. Should have probably done the chip, but I didn't realise his keeper was coming out until the very last minute. Lovely play! And Jackie Grealish is there, lads, yet again for another goal. What a great goal it was.
Lovely, lovely. Can we get a goal with him? Yes, we can. And it's another belting goal. Honestly, now that I've got the first game out of the way with him, he's turned into an absolute animal. Now I understand how he plays in-game. What a goal that was. And again, five-star weak foot is the big, big improvement on the card. I don't think he's got a usable card other than this one. Um, so, Jack Grealish fans, this is definitely a card you're going to want to go and get. And if you get him, he will be fantastic for you. No doubt about it. Fantastic for you. Here we go. He's on the ball again. <sighs> Couldn't quite get through, but as I was saying, yeah, his power shots on both feet have been incredible. His uh, playmaking ability on both feet have been incredible. That was not incredible, lads. One bit. Um, but, yeah, he's pretty, pretty darn good card, if I do say so myself. We'll take that as well. Thanks, Grealish, for the assist. We're going to get a rage quit probably in this final game. Is it bye-bye? Yes, it is. Two goals for Jack Grealish, and we'll count that last one as an assist as well. Why not? Uh, he's played pretty fantastic. He does have his um, cons, I suppose, which we will discuss. Um, but you can already tell what my overall thoughts and opinions of the card are going to be. But anyway, let's get on into it. So here we are, and my overall thoughts and opinions of Jack Grealish. He played three in total, scored seven, and got two assists, which was absolutely insane. Um, what I do like about the card is pretty much quite a lot. Um, his pace is great. Obviously, if he's out wide, it's not the greatest in the world. Um, he does get caught up from time to time, but if you are playing him that central of the park where I played him, he was fantastic. And that's where I would recommend playing him as a central cam, in behind the striker. Uh, in behind the striker? What am I on about? Yeah, behind the striker, playing the balls left, right and centre. That's what he's fantastic at because his passing and playmaking ability is unbelievable. It really is really good. It's good that he's got five-star weak foot so he can switch the ball with, with whatever foot. Um, his finishing though, he scored a couple of finesse shots in the end but... I would try and stick away from using his finesses, lads. I really would. Because um, the ones that did go in, they weren't in the top bins. They were, like, mid-range. The keeper could have saved them if the keeper was better. You know, stuff like that. So I would avoid the finesse shots. But power shots, fantastic. Uh, they do go in the back of the net. His uh, volleys aren't great, though. Um, but, but, he obviously can't win a header. Can at the ball, um, he's pretty crap in that region. Obviously, he's not the strongest in the world, but what he does, he does seem to stay on his feet, and that's probably due to his balance of 89. Um, yes, he might get shrugged off the ball, but his actual uh, balance, he does stay on his feet after the challenge, which is good, and sometimes he can continue and win the ball back in that situation. Uh, but all in all, I really enjoyed the card. I thought his dribbling was good, but obviously he hasn't got the meta body type this year, so it's not brilliant. Um, even though the stats are fantastic, if you get me. But all in all, I really enjoyed the card. Pretty fantastic. Major con for me was his finesse shots, because he doesn't have finesse shot tree. He doesn't have high curve. And that was probably the only con I do really have with the card. Everything else was pretty fantastic. Um, and for that reason, I'm going to give him an 8.5 out of 10. Uh, he's got room to improve, but this is a usable Jack Breedlish card. And for 230k with a 5-star weak foot with an English man in the Premier League for Man City, I think he's an absolute steal, lads. I really do. Um, so glad I managed to pat this man, and I've got him to use in my team. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's play review. If you have, smashed that thumbs up button for me. It's greatly appreciated, lads. And if you are new around here, please do subscribe to the channel for more play reviews and FIFA content. And I will catch you all in the next one. Peace.